We start with the divine head set up comparable to a semi-universal divine head and showing that it includes sector arms. These being essential for a dividing head of this type. I am now removing the worm assembly so that a different worm wheel can be fitted. Here we can see that the worm carrier is slightly tapered so that the worm's helix mates with the worm wheel accurately. Now I am removing the worm wheel to fit a larger one. See the extra holes in the dividing device carrier. These enabling different sizes of worm wheels to be fitted. Next, we will set up the dividing head for the first of two methods for direct dividing. This one used in the lathe's change wheels. The number of holes seen earlier in the dividing device carrier enable all of the layers change wheels to be used. Now we see how the dividing device carrier is locked in position to suit the setup being used. Being able to use all the layers change wheels, a large number of divisions are possible and using the fault detent increases the number further. Now we will set up 
the head for the second method of direct dividing. This one using dividing plates. As can be seen, the slot in the arm enables any of the circles to be used. The chapter arms, seen at the start of the video, can also be included in this setup, making it easier to use. I think you will agree that it is a very capable dividing head, achieving more divisions than using a semi-universal dividing head. It is also a very interesting project for the workshop without a dividing head.